Hello everyone and welcome to Elden Ring. Yeah, so here's what I forgot. You're supposed to go back up here because there's a tower over here we haven't been to yet. It's this one right here. So we're going to go there because that has the teleporter to get to the place we need to go next. Just ride this way. We're just kind of gonna kind of hug this wall so we get up. If you try to come here before, it's sealed. The seal doesn't go away until uh, Ronnie has left. And for those who paid attention, Rena is the first name she gave us. That meaning that this is where she hides when people were trying to find her. Yep. I know which one this is. So we're going to come over here. If you want to cosplay as Ronnie the White Witch, that is how you do it. That is her full outfit. Which I believe also powers up... Uh, Yep, strengthens cold sorceries. Now you're going to come up here. Touch this. And welcome to the Ansel River Main. Now there is another way to get here. Technically, we can get here through the deep root depths. If you do that, you'll come uh, in a coffin just like uh, this. We're just not doing that because this is technically a little bit faster if, if I had remembered it. You know. So we got a miniature Ronnie. So now we're going to have a seat right here. And we got this miniature Ronnie. And now we can talk to this miniature Ronnie. So tell it all your secrets. And you'll do it a couple times and it won't answer. And then this. Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me. Eliminate the, the name of Rani. I will not there you go. Now, uh, some of those mud men are going to be up ahead. And another one of those uh, guys who hangs from the ceiling and shoots down on us will also be over here.
Okay, so. We're about to play dodgeball with that guy right over there. Run over here. Use the wall to block. I would say give it two shots. Oh, he's not going to shoot again. Run this way, run, run this way. Now we're going to go this way. A bunch of those uh, mud men are going to be over here. So... running And there's Smithing Somberstone 7. And the Clayman's Harpoon. So, if you are using a somber weapon, that is how you get it up to That'll be the first one we found, and I don't. Yeah, because there's an eight, there's a nine, and then you know what? Right after we're done with the river main, I'll take you to go get a ten. Grab the key. You do not have to fight the the plant. Honestly, you don't get anything for it. We're just, hell, we're just running by, grabbing this to get the clay man pieces. And then running right past him. If you want to fight them, you can. There's just no reason to fight them. Uh, the Clayman Ashes aren't great. They basically just act like these do, where they uh, roll after you. Or they, they roll to your opponent. Oh, here it comes. Ow. Ow. Before we go that way, we're going to clear out this way. That one right back there, watch out. The one with the big head. His head basically blocks everything, and he can inflict poison on you.
but if you can get behind him, he's done. You want to try to hit the, the flyers as fast as possible because if you hit them really quick, they really can't do anything. Nice shield grease. That's the way we got to go. But since we have this dude dead, we're going to check this way real fast. Target him, run over, jump. Now, we've actually already been here. This, earlier we cleared out all down there, and this is where one of those uh, centipede-looking bastards was. You'll get that in a second. I told you not to worry about it, that you would get up here later. The Wing of Estelle. This is a curved sword that... Uh, a lot of intelligence users love it has a special ash of war that only one other thing has where it leads behind like a little uh star field that explodes so now you're gonna come up here in here and now we're going to go that way make sure we get all the stuff we're supposed to be getting Welcome to Noxtella, the second eternal city. Go down. Now, technically, we're a little bit ahead of where we would be if we did this in the, quote unquote, the order the game wants you to. All right, so this is the Eternal City. Uh, basically, we're doing this part. Uh, the Dragon Sin Skin Soldier is technically underneath this. That one that we fought that had the lightning and the uh, frost. So we're going to go this way. Now, there are two ways to take this city. One is through the bottom, and then one is through the top. We're going the top. We're going to basically do a big round and approach this area from behind.
So go right over here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff in this area. A lot of very powerful enemies. You're probably going to die here. Uh, don't feel bad if you do. So our first thing is this Nox Maiden right up here. fan daggers now we're going to come down here because we want to go in this room there's another one right there jump now this is the only treasure chest in here that's real you get the ant skull plate this is a shield this is a great shield uh, does poison build up 100% block very very strong and it has shield bash as does this one so if you're looking for some great shields you got them here they're just a little too heavy for me So now, you see these guys that have the electricity on them, if we hit them, they do that. And we just sit back and let them go. Now we're going to walk around back here. The one good thing, though, is that if you die, you don't have to do all the little side things. You can just run and go take care of the other stuff. Uh, Archer Atches, uh, they also fire cold. Uh, the cold fire arrows. Um, they're not bad. The problem is, is if they tar if they target something that's worthless to you. Okay, these guys, you see how they have the thing over their faces? If you get behind them... this that's another bell bearing that one does the ghost glove works for the uh, legendary items so there are some here above you just literally run under them let that fall and then So now we're going to come over here, jump in here. There's going to be more that fall. Push open this one. There's another somber seven. Gonna be another one that falls. Or I thought there was. No. Okay. There is one of those big iron balls 
right up there. You can actually see it rolling on the stairs. We are not fighting that thing yet, but trust me, it is a pain in the backside. We're going to use a key here. There are two Nox Maidens in here. Hit them as fast as you can. Because they do that. Damn. So now, run this way. You have all the electric ones. You could literally just run by them. That part is very annoying. You can see the orb right there moving on its own. Now, the reason this thing was here is for this. That gives you the Night Maiden, these two, you get them as a set of puppets, one with the blade and one with the hammer. Now, what we have to do is we have to trick him basically to hit a corner. Like that. Now, if you have a lighter weapon, you will not be able to do that. If you have a weapon like a dagger or something uh, that's very light, like a rapier or um, a short sword, uh, you try to do that and it will basically laugh at you as it crushes you. See him? So. Um, I have a lot of those.
gonna be difficult like that, huh? If you have something that's explosive, he will fall. Push open this one to get another great ghost war that will let you uh, fully power up one of your things. I like to use it for the uh, the tier. You know, completely off the wall tangent, but uh, my roommate will laugh about this. It's hilarious when you hear people talk about certain things like, oh, these people are doing this show or this show, uh, like doing a review of it or a performance of it or, you know, things like that. But if you're not paying attention and all you hear is somebody go, you know, they're doing Buffy. It's hilarious. I have three of those. I need seven more. I think I'll be fairly close to it when I'm done with this. Now this is going to be a real interesting thing because there's going to be a lot of slimes dropping, but there's also a big orb back there. So what we need to do, I need an explosive stone. Here we go. Up. Now, there is a chance that it would have uh, killed some of them. Therefore, setting off the the these ones. That's what I was hoping for. here push that yeah you can see there's another seven so even if you don't have the 10 right now or if you're not sure you want the the weapon we have you can at least get it up to a plus nine I 
I forgot he was there. There's another six. Now, if you notice, this just uh, told you that you can have a your partner here. That's because there are two mimics and a knock and a night maiden in here, and the two mimics are the strong ones that have a predetermined uh, creation. Damn it. See what I mean? And now you find out the horrible thing of there is no... Get over here. I can actually trap it. I've done it before. Now, it won't drop a larval tier after the first time. Now, if you're doing this the way you're supposed to, this is the final item. This increases your memory slots to let you have more spells. Honestly, though, you don't need the that moon to do it. You'll get plenty of memory stone slots. I mean, 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight just by doing this and to show you what it does. We'll put it on real fast to show you how many. It only gives you two more. Now, if you determine that you need those two, you use a very wide selection of spells, then by all means, use it. So now we're on the back end, and now we're going to be heading back around, but going down through the down part. Grab the golden seed, now you're going to run up this way. Is it just the butterfly? And if you want to have your uh, lantern on for this part, I would suggest it. Here's the one bad thing. If I remember correctly, I don't even think we've hit a stake of marriage. Sorry about that. Batteries decided they didn't want to work, work anymore. All right. As I was saying, I think if you die, you are still, you still have to run all the way back through here. Though, honestly, if we die, we're coming through the bottom. I'm just going to go the faster way. So come over here. Grab all this formic rock. Now there's stuff all over. So we're going to be doing a lot of... We're going to go this way first. We're going to go to our left first. Clear out all over there. And then we'll come this way to start clearing out that stuff. Fuck. Didn't mean to fall. That's why we didn't mean to fall.
Now, one of the things you can do, if you want, is this. And as you can see, that just makes life a little bit more easier. Uh, you can also just jump down and kill them all. Like, there's no reason not to. None of these enemies are very hard. It's just that there's a lot of them. But there's plenty of these... Uh, So we're going to go up here. Now, there's a bunch of these snail monsters over here. They are all poisoned. They are all very, very... They, they are not much on their own. But you see what just happened there? That's what they like to do. So if you look up on some of these, I'll, I'll see if I can find you a good spot to see it. You can see them. There are four of them. Two on that side. So if I run this way, and we hit here... Oh, there, this isn't the one with four. There's another one later that has four. <clears throat> we need to keep going this way, though. Another celestial do. Keep running down to the end. Now, there's going to be two Night Maidens. One right there, one right there. Now, the one right there, if we crouch. Oh. Uh, I didn't crouch soon enough.
All right, that makes it where we can get to give you an idea of where we are. That's the first grace right over there. Finally got her uh, headpiece, which I really do like, if, especially if you're playing a uh, a more secretive character where, like, you're, you know, your character has a reason why nobody sees their face. Yeah, but right there, that stairwell is where we went. That's where we came from originally. That's why I said if we die, we're just coming right down the river. Because this is where you would end up if you went the river route. Here, run straight. There's another night maiden right there. Hit hard and true. Ghost glove work nine. And you've gotten a couple of the tens. So now we're going to go this way. Right down there, that's where you fought the uh, Dragonkin. That's where the Dragonkin soldier was fought. I love showing things like that to show just how much of this world is interconnected. There's another somber seven. So we came in here without having any, and now I think we have four. Yeah, we have four. So if this is all you were waiting on, and really it is because they took away the, the fancy jump. And what I mean is there used to be a uh, jump you could do at the Volcano Manor to get a... Up there is where we came around. We have this.
And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't ever take this trip the uh, through the bottom, so I don't know how that is supposed to lead to all the stuff I got. Okay. There are two ants over there, but they're not guarding, or if they're guarding anything, it's like a small rune. So I'm not going to go get it because I think I will die. It's those, it's two of those big hammer ones, or head ones. So we do all that to come over here and ride this. Going even lower. All right, remember who uh, little Ronnie told us we had to go take out the Baleful Shadow? Well, Let they're right up ahead. A while. I was once an Empyrean of the demigods. Only I, Nicola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika to become the new god of the coming age which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the Two Fingers. I stole the rule of death, slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The Two Fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the Baleful Shadows are their assassins. Even when I turned my back upon the Two Fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the Two Fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one, kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Ah. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou'st heard. Forget. Not a chance. So, um, you know what? We're going to take a break right here. Actually, no. We're, we're going to go finish the fight against the Baleful Shadow because uh, it's what's beyond the Baleful Shadow I want to, to show and it's also in the title of the uh, video so I do want to get there um, there's just a couple of really loose loots outside of that one uh, plant there's going to be some basculists over here. 
if you want, you can put on your uh, torch and they'll leave you alone. Ah, well, there's Death Flight for you. For anybody who wanted to see it. Okay. First... Oh, no. First we have to do this. Remove that equipment. Put on this one. Here we go. Oh shadow, thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh. Drain thy flesh with a fatal wound, ne'er to heal. Ow! Damn. Well, get ready. This is a pain in the in the ass. Damn it! With certain weapons, th this is a very easy fight. With other weapons, it is a very hard fight. Damn it. 
And I just lost all those runes. Luckily, it was only like a hundred and like thirteen thousand, but still. I gotta remember when he does that <coughs> spin and then the jump you're now supposed to roll I under him. Stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and EG. I love them. That gives you the discarded palace key. Went all the way through here. Touch this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I give to you the Lake of Rot. So before we go do this, we're going to knock out a couple of things, including getting the item needed to uh, make your weapon into a plus 10. A whole suit of armor that's going to help us in here. And then we'll start running around and doing all the stuff in here. So, I will be right back. We're going to take a short break. And then we'll be back to do this.